Hi, it's uh, April 29th, and today is Friday, so that means it's time for your weekly e-blast. And Father Taylor here. And today I'd like to start off with some really sad news, and it's hard to exclaim, but um, Jeff Fournier, husband to Sarah, uh, who, who, a guy who you guys know, uh, died uh, earlier this week as a result of uh, the recurrence of cancer. And uh, after some thoughts, the planning is that next, this coming week on Thursday, the visitation uh, with the family will be held at Trinity from four to seven. So four to seven is a visitation and the service of Christian burial will be held Friday uh, morning at 11 o'clock. And uh, those details are listed in the text of the e-blast. But uh, just another great loss to our, fam to our church family here. Uh, and we've lost uh, a lot of folks, uh, 12 people since last December. So we're praying for Sarah and for uh, her son, Ben. Uh, Jeff was predeceased by his son, Matt. And uh, so we're praying for the family, extended family. And we'll be hosting all of them uh, here at our church. And so as we come, we offer our prayers for them. We offer our prayers to the family. And during that time of visitation and service, we come to give support as our community supports them. So uh, a real loss, a real sad thing to have uh, lost Jeff. Um, uh, but we are buoyed uh, in our loss by our hope, particularly at this time of Easter, the hope of resurrection. And so we are are uh, knowing that he is in the presence of God. And on that last day, we shall see him again, all together. Also coming up is tonight, which is Friday, uh, the vestry is having part of a retreat. So over at the church in just a few minutes, we'll be having dinner together. And we'll be uh, talking about like, what is the vision that this vestry uh, feels God is calling us to? And how will we serve the church? The church has made some huge transitions since the time that COVID began. Uh, those transitions were already in place, but so much has already changed. And so it's a challenging time uh, for the vestry to be able to keep up with the speed of change and to figure out how's the best way to lead. Tomorrow, we will be sharing our, our um, vestry retreat with folks from St. Paul's down in Shelton. And both of our churches will be going to a church which is called Black Rock Church, which is located down in uh, Fairfield County. Black Rock Church is a church which was uh, are, are founded about the same time as we were, uh, Congregational Church, 1848, about then. Uh, and over the last, over the years, was a pretty much a standard church. But at one point, the church leadership felt God was calling them to uh, think about ministry and serving people in a new way. And that church grew to 5,000 people in a very huge, very kind of modern uh, building. Uh, then about the time they, that COVID hit, they began to rethink church. Like, like, what was our church based on? What was it that led to this growth? Was it, uh, was it really a discipleship thing or was it something different? Could it have been that it was more about just the energy of being a big church? So during COVID, they began reconsidering their whole way of doing business and, uh, and the whole idea of big church, big building. And so it's fascinating. The pastor of the church, the current pastor of the church, and I, I did not know him, but we were at seminary together. And I'm telling you, it was a pretty, it's a very good seminary, a great scripture study program, great theology department, but you don't go to that seminary and have a church of 5,000. You know? So I can't wait to find out what was going on. What have you done differently? You guys are, we are not, we are not trying to become Black Rock Church. The question we have is, what is God calling us to? And how does a vestry help to lead a church in a direction that they discern, that God's, that they've discerned as God's call for them? So it's not about becoming a big church. It's about how does a vestry help lead any church in a specific direction? So we're looking forward to that. So I ask your prayers on behalf of, uh, of our vestry as we meet tonight and uh, all day Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have our, our two, two services. And at the 945 service, we'll have a commissioning service 
for our vestry, something I don't know, we've ever done that before. All the vestry folks will be there, we're gonna bring them forth, we're gonna pray for them. And, uh, and uh, kind of like part of like our moving interaction. Following the Sunday service, there is a small group of people who will be meeting up in the coffee area uh, place. And that is not just anybody, those are folks who are uh, all having kids baptized. We have a group of five or six families who are all preparing to have their kids baptized. So we're having a little get together with those guys. You can pray for them as well too. So I'm gonna keep the music, keep, keep the news to that. There's more, a lot more going on, but I'm just gonna keep it succinct uh, about uh, the arrangements for Jeff Fournier and, uh, and our vestry retreat. So God bless you and we'll talk to you soon.